Is this rig really all that it's cracked up to be? Well here it is folks, my personal rig that I use for cowboy action shooting. This rig is dubbed the Shootist Rig by El Paso Saddlery. It features two holsters and a belt. The overall length of this rig is just over 4 feet and a width of just under 3 inches. It sports 24 bullet loops capable of holding 24 rounds of 45 Colt ammunition. It is made by El Paso Saddlery out of El Paso, Texas with a very clear and visible maker's mark. The holsters, which I custom ordered, are 8 inches tall and 9 inches tall respectively, with both of them being around 4 inches long at the top. Overall, this setup can be had for roughly $555 US. The good! This rig is obviously made out of high quality leather, and looks as if someone took their time with it and didn't rush the making of it either. It is extremely comfortable. The rig can be twisted and formed to almost any shape. Your mobility when wearing it is quite surprising, and it can even be worn comfortably in a seated position without pinching any skin. I'd have to say that's quite pleasing to the wearer. The stitching is beautiful, and the buckle is oh so shiny and classy. This rig is highly customizable, and can be customized at the shop or can be fitted with other brands of holsters to fit the user's needs. You can have it set up with strong sides, cross draws, knives and shotgun slides, and any other accoutrements that fit your fancy. I have had this belt for over seven years and have not had any issues with the stitching coming loose or the holsters having issues, so I'd have to say that it is quite durable. Alright y'all, time for a little criticism. I'm not a fan of the price. This rig comes without fancy stitching. I'm sure you can find cheaper rigs out there. However, you do get what you pay for. Without any modification, this rig really is only good for a couple of the western shooting sports. Specifically, cowboy action shooting. And the user may be finding it difficult to use in a sport that requires a quick draw from the holster, such as fast draw. Additionally, some reenactment events might have issues with the trigger guard cutouts, depending on what time period in the West you are trying to represent. The biggest complaint that I have is not with the rig itself, but with the ordering of the product. You have to wait 4-16 to 16 weeks to receive your products, and if they get your dimensions wrong, which did happen in my case, it may cause some frustration. Let's thank today's sponsor of this episode and recommender of this content, Mr. John A. Scott, for buying me a cup of coffee. He decided to become a supporter of the channel by going to buymeacoffee.com. If this is the content that you're kind of interested in and you feel like being a supporter, I'd recommend going down to the description section of this video and the pinned comment and clicking on the link to buy me a cup of coffee. Maybe you'll end up sponsoring the next video. Now it's finally time for my opinion. You are getting an authentic cowboy rig from a company that existed around the time of the cowboys. Compared to other rigs, this may be more expensive, but it is definitely not the most expensive. In short, it is SAS legal with good quality and authenticity. Don't forget to buy me a coffee as well. Moms, cowgirls, and cowboys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you're looking forward to the next video, I'll see you on down the trail. Have a good one.